segment is sponsored by Madarva at Stony Point Surgery Center. Getting to know your spine helps set the stage for the best possible spinal health. A balanced, centered alignment frees muscles up from spasms, and then they're left to do what they do best, move the body. Michael De Palma practices interventional spine care and is very focused on promoting a healthy spine from the start. Welcome, Dr. De Palma. It's nice to have you. Thank you. It's nice to be here. This is a great time of year to talk about this interventional spine care and getting good spinal health going early because kids are heading back to school. Correct. And that can present some challenges, can it? Yes. Um, the, the, the thing to keep in mind is how the kids are carrying their backpacks, for example. Uh, there's a, a wealth of literature that's come out of North America as well as Europe that's taught us that when kids load their backpacks with routine textbooks, there's a appreciable load that's placed on the low back. So then the question becomes, how do we be smart about displacing that load in a more health conscious manner. Because even though we've maybe gotten a little bit more technologically savvy, you may be replacing books or compu with computers or other things that maybe are just as heavy. Correct. Or more books. Yeah, or more books. So getting getting alignment from the start is the way to go. What's what's kind of the optimum? What is it you work with young people to, to focus on? I would say there's three key concepts for children and, and, and their backpacks. One would be reducing the volume of textbooks or whatever's being carried to less than 15% of body weight. And then um, being mindful of the distance the backpack's being carried. If it, the distance can be shortened up so there's short intervals in between carrying the, book pa the backpack. And then alternating backpack from shoulder to shoulder will alternate the load from one side to the other. That's kind of like interval training. Mm -hmm. Because kids kind of have a tendency, I mean, the backpack is an accessory after all. You know, you got to look cool sure. carrying this. Sure. And they don't, do they carry them on both straps or is that just, would that be best if that could happen? Um, I would say probably alternating shoulders. So okay. one strap on one side for a short period of time and then the other side. Okay. Uh, maybe taking a break in between the shoulders, a short break at a, at a uh, water fountain, for example. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Interesting. So backpacks are heavy. We want to try to lighten them up and we want to try to do this, uh, this moving around so you're doing this interval training. Do we still need to listen to mom with sit up straight? Posture <laughs> is important. Absolutely. Um, proper posture allows the muscles to work in a, in a in a manner in which they're advantageous and reduce strain on the spine in certain areas. Do you have parents that are bringing young people in um, that clearly have some issues going from the start? I, good question. My, especially as interventional spine care, we do focus on a wide array of painful spine disorders, pelvic disorders, uh, but more uh, adults, young adults, maybe adolescents. We don't really see children or pediatric cases, um, but we are mindful of proper spine biomechanics, and that and that is the uh, kind of the uh, position from which we're approaching this concept of trying to ingrain in young people, children, the idea or the concept of being uh, smart about their back and one way to do that is get them thinking about something they're doing on a daily basis routinely with the backpacks. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and assume and set me straight if I'm just out on a limb, but with women and carrying purses, we mm -hmm. have a tendency to load these things up. Is it kind of the same concept? Sure, yeah. So alternating sides, reducing the load, it's tricky. Uh, my wife has a lot of stuff she has to carry um, pertinent to the kids and everything going on that they're managing. So it's, it's tough. But um, just, I would say, an element of moderation is key to implement if, uh, within certain restrictions. And if you're, if you're in a situation, whether you know, you're a woman carrying a purse that really was just a little too heavy or you've got this backpack situation going on, and you start making these changes, how soon would you start to feel some difference? How, how soon do you kind of right yourself? Oh, that's another good question. Uh, probably on the order of three to five days, maybe a week, if it's an activity that's every day on a continual basis. I mean, the, one other key element here is reduce the exposure to potentially injurious activities, but also it's an element. It's not also an objective to promote good spine health and avoid any problems that may arise down the road. Mm -hmm. I did it just the other day. I picked up that purse and it was heavier than I remembered and I had a bottle of water hidden in there so it's time to lighten up a little bit. Yeah, drink the water. Right? <laughs> drink the water instead of carrying it around. Thank you, Dr. De Palma. Appreciate you, you coming in. Good to be here. Thank you. You can learn more about the work Dr. Michael De Palma is doing with Virginia Eye Spine Physicians and get in touch to schedule an appointment. Visit online, vaispine.com or call 33. 
0303.